Hello again and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. Hope you're having an awesome week. Hope you're rocking it out. Whatever plans, goals, dreams, hopes, ambitions you have on the go. What a beautiful day again we have. I hope you got a chance to enjoy it. Um, quick update before we get started. I have, um, doTERRA has actually launched some new um, enrollment options, enrollment kits. So if you're interested in adding to your current collection or starting a collection, learning more about how to um, lose the toxicity in your life, definitely now is the, the, the time to, uh, to get started. If you're interested, definitely reach out to me and we'll get you rocking and rolling. I have launched a weight loss course for beginners. Um, it is an online digital course for download. Um, it, and it can be, uh, what, gone through, I guess, I, for lack of a better term, at your own pace and how you like to go through it. So if you're interested or somebody you know of is interested in getting access to this, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rock and roll. I'm super excited. There's tons of cool things that comes along with the initial launch. Yes, all right. So let's get into it. Today, Tuesday, what, what better thing to talk about on a Tuesday? I don't know. How to have more energy. Let's do it, right? We can, we get sort of what happens is, you know, we, uh, near the end of the week, right? We're, we're, we're real hyped up because the, uh, the week is almost over. The weekend is almost here and we're super excited. Then the weekend ends and Monday comes along and we're like, Yay, good for us. I want to go back to work. I am done with the weekend. <laughs> Not, right? So that's where, uh, that's where you know, some, some of our energy levels, some of our, uh, you know, motivation, if you will, can uh, sort of take a, a back seat to uh, regular, the day-to-day the, the -day monotony of life, right? So that's where I want to come in, give some tips that help me to have some more energy throughout the week. Um, you know, sometimes we can do things that sort of make us lethargic and tired over uh, the course of, you know, long periods of time. We can lose uh, energy and motivation. That's where I've got some tips that help me. Um, I want to share them with you. Hopefully they help you too. Hopefully you get some value out of them. Here we go. Tip number one is to eat smaller meal that smaller meals more frequently throughout the day. So what, uh, what I mean by that is we all know when we, uh, when, we talk, when we eat a big meal, right? When we just stuff our face and we're not really uh, thinking or caring about anything else. Uh, you know, we're just stuffing our face. And then at that time, it's, uh, you know, it, it, after that, we don't really feel like doing anything. We don't really care to, you know, be a part of life. <laughs> we, we don't really, you know, there's not too much that we're interested in doing, right? We're interested in sitting on the couch and, uh, you know, lying down and not really moving for the next little bit and or passing out whichever one comes first, right? So that's where smaller meals more frequently, what that does is it just boosts your metabolism um, and it, it keeps your metabolism sort of working all the time, right? Instead of um, at one point in time where it just, gets this huge, you know, huge rush of, uh, of food and nutrients in it. And, uh, sorry here, I got to take my watch off. It's hot. It's getting hot in here now, boys and girls. We are uh, officially in the summertime. Yes. Um, so, uh, you know, if, if you think of your, you know, your metabolism, if it gets just nailed right all at once, it really goes, 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 but then it sort of crashes, right? Think of it as like an energy drink almost. Uh, I guess if you will, um, you get that, you know, initial rush of energy, but then you get the crash and you get the lethargic uh, feeling after, right? So that's where little meals more frequently throughout the day will actually help keep your body uh, sort of, you know, running all the time, right? Think of, uh, you know, like a roller coaster, for example, right? Uh, it, how, it, how it's constantly moving all day, right? The chains are always going. There's never really a time where it's stopping other than, you know, to get the rest and recovery uh, maintenance when the maintenance crew comes in, right? So that's where you need to think of your body as that, right? Like your metabolism as that sort of thing, right? Keep it going all day 
and, and as opposed to you know ups and downs, right? Where you get that huge initial uh, you know give and then you crash down uh, because your your body's not really. Um, you know, getting all the nutrients that it needs, right? So that's where um, that that's that's where you need to really be focusing on what you're eating. Also, um, you know, protein helps keep you fuller longer. It also helps. Um, um, yeah, uh, uh, vegetables, fruits and vegetables are another great way to get that sort of like um, uh, natural sugar rush, right? If you will, as opposed to those energy drinks. So that's where um, you know, focus on 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 foods that are gonna help. Right, fuel you. Uh, use your own body, at, uh, you know, for itself. Right, if you will. And so that's when. Um, so that, that that's really you know a, a really big thing that I had to learn uh, more than anything was you know because I like to eat, and when I'm eating, <laughs> I like to I like to stuff right, and I like to eat and I like to keep going. Um, and so that's where I had to really and and also like when you stop yourself, right? Your your body. We're creatures of habit, right? So our body will actually um, learn to be full off that amount of food um, as opposed to needing to stuff your face um, all, you know, at, at, all, at all points in time. Your body will get used to running off of little nutrition, um, you know, in, in different increments throughout the day. So smaller meals more frequently will just help keep your metabolism boosted all day. That will help, um, you know, alleviate those sort of crashes that you get. My next tip is to take a multivitamin. And what I take is one from doTERRA, which is, um, uh, they actually have their own uh, line, I guess, if you will. It's the Lifelong Vitality Pack. But this one right here is the, um, is, is the, uh, the multivitamin that I talk about. And, you know, multivitamins are great because um, we... Our body needs a certain amount of nutrients on a daily basis in order to uh, be able to function. And when we're not giving our body all the nutrients, right, it, it, it takes little bits away and little bits away, right? Think of like if you're building a, a, a house, right, and you don't have a little bit of foundation here and a little bit over there and you're missing a little chunk and eventually, right, it's all going to come crashing down. So, but... At the same time, what I did here was that we, um, you know, in order to get the uh, amounts of nutrition that our body actually needs, we need to be eating about 14 servings of fruits and vegetables per day. Now that's a lot. I mean, let's get real here. <laughs> it, it, you, you probably wouldn't be doing a whole lot of other stuff um, if you uh, <laughs> if you're eating 14 servings every day, right? So that's where the multivitamin comes into play, and it's actually really an easy way for you to sort of cheat, right? It's like a little cheat code in terms of um, getting your body all of the nutrition that it needs, all of the vitamins and minerals that it needs to perform optimally without actually having to eat all of the fruits and vegetables that we need to, right? 14 servings is a lot. A multivitamin once, twice, maybe three times a day, right? Depending on um, how you are with certain nutrients, right? When you t start taking uh, vitamins, your body's gonna go through a whole change, right? So you're gonna, uh, um, there's gonna be a lot of things going on in your body. So that's where with me, right? I start with like once a day, you know, move that up to twice when I, uh, you know, when, I, when I'm feeling comfortable with what's happening. That way I can, uh, I can judge, right? And I can gauge sort of what's happening. Um, multivitamin, that's, that, you know, that's huge. Another one that I would suggest, right, is some sort of like fish oil. Um, you know, fish oil helps with uh, brain and heart health. So that, that's another one that I would suggest uh, in terms of if you're going to take vitamins. Um, multivitamins are huge. I, I love taking them. I love, for, for me, I don't know, maybe it's different for uh, other people, but for me, I find that um, when I don't take the vitamins, uh, is when I really feel the difference, right? I don't really feel too much taking the vitamin because, like, you know, you can't feel your body filling up on nutrients, right? Maybe you can. I don't know, but I can't. Uh, but when I don't take them, that's when I, uh, I notice the difference. Side note, water. If nothing else helps you take your multivitamin. Number three, sleep better. This one is 
really the be all and end all of your energy cycle, I guess, if you will. Um, when you're tired, there's no real way to you know, be energized for anything. And when you're not getting the proper amounts of sleep, your body's not really f uh, running on, you know, full capacity, right? You're not, you're not, um, uh, you know, doing, you're, you're not able to perform at an optimal level. You're not really able to function at a, you know, a peak performance level, right? So that's where sleeping better, and I'm not just talking about sleeping longer, right? Most of the time you can get away with, you know, six, seven hours of good deep sleep. Um, you don't need, you know, 10, 12, 13 hours, uh, as, you know, as much as Tina would like to argue with me about that. Uh, but, you know, what, what we're talking about is we're not talking about quantity of sleep. We're talking about quality of sleep. And, you know, for me, um, I love using essential oils for this one in particular. I'm um, creating that relaxing environment, right, at, at bedtime. Um, you know, nighttime is really kind of the worst time to, to really go to sleep um, in terms of, you know, uh, when you, um, when, when you uh, you know, your, your brain is kind of going, your mind is really racing, you've got a lot on the go, there's not, you know, and, and now you have to try and, you know, just switch it off, right? Maybe you get that next text message or you get a phone call from your mom or, you know, an email came through that you need to check out, right? And there's all these things racing through your mind on top of, you know, did I make lunches in the morning? What am I gonna wear tomorrow? Did I wear that the other day? Wait, what did I wear today? Oh my goodness, did I eat that today? Oh, is tomorrow trash day? Holy, and there's a whole bunch of different things that are that can be going on in your mind as opposed to, you know, relaxing and getting ready to sleep. So that's where, um, uh, you know, you wanna do what you can to create that relaxing environment that allows you to calm down and go to sleep. Um, uh, you know, and, and that's what I mean, we're not talking about quantity in this one, we're talking about quality, because you can get a quality six, seven hours of sleep, and you can get a terrible 12 hours of sleep, and you know, you, you would probably feel better off of the better sleep. So, you know, do what you can to create that relaxing environment at nighttime. Like I said, I love essential oils, cup of tea is a great one, um, a shower, hot shower, right, that one's a really good one to help sort of relax your body. So we are talking tips, things you can do right now to almost instantly gain more energy. Number one, eat smaller meals more frequently throughout the day. Number two, take a multivitamin. Number three, sleep better, not longer. Number four, exercise. This one is really huge because I can attest to this one more than anything that when I exercise, I actually feel better. Uh, I want to do more. Um, and as much as I'm like, you know, I don't have the time, effort, energy, motivation, patience, all other things you want to talk about when it comes to, you know, talking about going to exercise. It's just one of those things that if you can get over it and just do it, right? Little bit of movements here and there, um, you know, just little things, right? Walking to places where you would normally drive to if they're close enough. Uh, taking the stairs, right? Instead of the elevator is a huge one that, that you can do for some movement. But I, I really like talking about exercise in terms of um, if you could follow me for a quick minute here, right? We, we lay down to sleep and then we, uh, we sit to eat and then we sit to drive to work. And then if you're at a, de a desk job, right, you're sitting all day at your job, then you're sitting to drive home, then you come home to sit on the couch, to sit at the dinner table, to eat, to go lay down in bed uh, and to sleep to get up the next day, right? So that's a whole lot of sitting and laying, um, you know, on a daily basis. And if you're not consciously making an effort to get some movement, right, our body is not designed to sit uh, and, and to be dormant for that long, as much as it's not designed to go, 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 go all the time, right? So that's where you need to find the balance. But if you're, you know, sitting all day, basically, you need to do what you can at nighttime or at, at the very least throughout the day, right? Maybe take your lunch break to uh, walk around the building if, it, if, that's, if that's even at all possible. Um, like I mentioned, if you're in, you know, an office building, right? Maybe taking the stairs, getting off a flight or two, 
or in your floor uh, in order to make it a little bit better for you. Um, so that's where, you know, doing what you can to get some movement in your day is going to be very beneficial for you. And it also, you know, exercise does one of those things that it releases those feel good chemicals in your brain, right? The uh, endorphins and the serotonin, right? Makes you feel good. That's, that's what exercise does. Um, and, it, and it also helps. And, and you know what? Exercise is just one of those things that if you do it on a consistent basis, you tend to feel better or you tend to look better, right? <laughs> And when we tend to look better, we tend to feel better. And when we feel better, we make better choices, right? And then we, you know, it, it's a good cycle just to keep up in that regard. So, uh, you know, get, do, try and fit in some movement wherever you can throughout the day. For me, actually, we got um, an exercise DVD, which is quick 15 minute workout. I love it. I do it every day that I can, most, most days, right? Some days are, are uh, you know, a little worse than others, but, you know, 15 minutes. Just rock it out for a little bit and then, you know, get the sweat up, get the blood pumping, the blood flowing, get your sweat going, burn a little bit of calories while you're at it and feel better in the process. Number five, reduce stress. Another way to reduce stress, water. Stress is really good to a certain extent. Um, you know, a little bit of stress in your life is good. You know, it causes you to, um, you know, think a little bit differently, causes you to step outside of your comfort zone, push your boundaries a little bit. Um, you know, it, it, it allows you to think in a different way, maybe take a little bit of chances, a little bit more chances uh, than you would normally. But a, an excess amount of stress is not good for anybody involved, right? Not good for you, not good for your family, not good for your coworkers, not good for the guy that just cut you off on the road, right? It is not good for anybody. Um, and so that's where we need to do what we can. Again, I love using essential oils to reduce stress. Little things like uh, counting backwards from 10, that one's really cool, a really cool way to sort of distract your mind from that. Um, Actually, one of the quotes that I read uh, uh, more than any, what, what that really made me laugh was, um, uh, "If you're if you're upset, go for a walk. If you're still upset, keep walking." <laughs> and so that 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 one's a really good uh, way to get you know that's a good tip right there, right? Going for a walk. I love doing this one, especially if you've got like a forest around you, because when you walk through the forest, right, it's it, it's great. It's nice, calming, relaxing, right? You got those woodsy aromas that are really just relaxing and um, you know calming your mind. It's also a great way to just be with your thoughts and that way you can really have an argument with yourself if need be. Another way is, is journaling. I really love journaling. Uh, this one is uh, something that I really had to learn to incorporate into my life. I'm still learning with this one. Uh, but that's really a way for you to sort of have an argument with yourself. Um, you can, uh, you can, uh, you know, everything up in your head is really a lot different <laughs> normally than in reality. So when you put pen to paper and you put stuff down, you start realizing that, uh, you know, maybe the situation isn't as bad as you think of. But, you know, doing what you can to reduce your stress is, that's going to be the, that's going to be one of the biggest ways for you to sort of help your overall uh, life in general. And then my last tip more than anything is essential oils. I've referenced this a few times. A blend of oils like Serenity is uh, the restful blend from doTERRA. And that's what I love using at nighttime uh, to create that calming, relaxing environment. Um, it's, it's, it's perfect for, you know, when you want to go to sleep. Uh, I actually, we actually have this one in a mist. It's a, a mist bottle that we spray on the, uh, on the, on the linens and on the, on the, um, uh, on the pillows, what, the one thing that's great about essential oils is at the very base of it, they're volatile aromatic compounds, which basically means that they switch states from a liquid to a gas very quickly. So before they stain your pillow, they before they stain your pillow, they will actually evaporate. Excuse, oh, excuse me. So you don't have to worry about any stainage. Um, another blend of oils is Air X. This one's actually a new blend that just came out. And this one is perfect for opening up the airways, right? If you have any of those noises that you make, 
at, at, at nighttime. Um, you know, those are really the, the things that are not allowing you to get that perfect sleep. Uh, throughout the night that you would need or that you would want um, and I, I love the way that one it's actually also great it's got oils in there that, that really wake you up too right so it's great for a you know a really uh, midday pick-me-up and then my last blend of oils is citrus bliss and I mean if there was a way to describe citrus bliss it's citrus oils that put you in a state of bliss and I love it. I, it um, side note with this one is citrus oils cause photosensitivity. So just watch when you're going out into the sun. Uh, but that, for this one, I love putting it on my collar uh, of my shirt. That way I can have the aroma with me all the time. And then when I start sweating, it kind of creates its own diffuser. And uh, I love that one. That one's really one of my favorite, favorite blends that I can talk about. That's all I got for today. I really hope you enjoyed this. I know I had some fun making it. Feel free to share this with your friends, uh, family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. If you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, or if you would like a free sample of oils, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message saying me, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week, and I look very forward to talking to you. I love you guys. Bye for now.